I'm like, yo, Stretch, I ain't got no problems. I ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But, man, I got money to fight a war. Now, this is towards us. There ain't nothing about no Tupac. For the culture, what it do, what it do, info minds, what it do, man. General Madge back on the check-in, man. It's time to address all the motherfucking issues, man. It's time to address all the motherfucking false motherfucking bullshit running around out here, man, about my brother, man. It's too much going on, man. Let's get into it. Let's just address them all, man. The latest shit that just came out, man, about this nigga talking about my brother set Pac up for two big eights and all that bullshit. Come on, man. Anybody that know my brother and my team and all that nigga, niggas know, nigga, that shit is a motherfucking lie. First of all, once my brother stepped out to the street, nigga, into the industry, man, he ain't never looked back. You hear me? He never looked back, and that's what he was trying to fucking do. Save us and stop us from hustling and save his mans from going to jail and living that motherfucking life and going that route. That's how come he dedicated his life to music. Because that's a way that we can motherfucking don't have to focus on selling drugs. You know what I'm saying? He's seen me going the wrong way. He see his man harm, um, go to jail, and niggas is out here dying and killing each other and all that stupid ass shit. He woke up and was like, we ain't doing none of that no more, man. I'm doing this music. We doing this music, man. All that drug shit, nigga, you could just ace that. And besides that. We full-blown industry now, nigga. Pac is our fam. You know what I'm saying? We niggas done lived in the Bay. Niggas got fam in L.A. Then you already know who we are in New York. Look at all them pictures, man. Look at all them pictures, man. We ain't, everybody ain't no industry niggas around us, man. If my brother did want to motherfucking get some drugs or fucking hustle or get some bricks, it was nothing to do that, man. So please, man, don't be fucking bamboozled because this man is trying to sell a book or whatever the fuck he's doing. Let's just ace that, man. Now, Maz, just say Napoleon from the Outlaws claimed that Stress delivered a message to Pop from Jimmy Henchman telling him to get your money right, then go to war. Now, Napoleon says he was there at the time um, when this was after the Quad Studio shooting. Is there any truth to that? Would it be a logical reason? behind Stretch delivering this message? And what was the relationship between Jimmy Henchman and Stretch, if there was one at all? Now, man, now this the issue right here, man. Oh, man, this is the one that kind of hurts me because Moo is my fam. That's Moo to me, man, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know him as Napoleon. That's my fam right there, and to see that, and he was misconstrued, you know what I'm saying? And so he misconstruing y'all, this shit hurts me, man, but I'm gonna let y'all know what really happened. I'm gonna let y'all know what my brother really said and what he meant. Back then, in 94, the whole industry know Jimmy as a record exec. Nigga don't know his past. Niggas don't know nothing about none of that gangster shit, whatever they talking. All niggas know is he's a record exec. You dig? So now, when that shit happens at Quad, all y'all gotta remember that we got hit. Pac just didn't get hit, we got hit. It was four people. It was my brother, Nichols, it was Pac, and his brother-in-law, Zade, at that time. Zade has a baby by Pac's sister, Satch. That's who was in there. That's who was dead. When it went down, remember, y'all, nobody's taking credit for that shit. Ain't nobody claiming they did it. So when that shit happens, all we could do is go with who we think might have did it. Even though Jimmy is a record exec in our eyes, you know what I'm saying? And it's stupid for him to call somebody and say, come to the studio and the nigga get robbed, because of course it's gonna go back on him. Like I told y'all at this time, he's a record exec. You know what I'm saying? So that would be kind of stupid. But remember, we young and dumb at that time. We don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody claiming who did it. Everybody saying they ain't did nothing. Nobody know nothing. So all right. Y'all know how it go in the street. You know what I'm saying? This is when it turns into a mob movie. Y'all know how the mob movies do. Yo, who did it? Wasn't us. It wasn't us. We didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? So now when that type of shit happens, you got to do the same shit. Okay. Nobody know who did nothing, right? All right. So now we're going to bang everything moving, nigga. What stopped that from happening is 
Pac is our man, you know what I'm saying? He don't really know how to react with certain shit. So when it happened, he's like, oh, y'all niggas know, oh, y'all set me up and this, that, and the other. And instead of it going the way I just said, nigga, you put niggas on point. Everybody knows when Pac is in New York who's holding them down. And the niggas that's holding them down is out here dropping shit. It's not on Pac now. It's our city. So now all types of kites is being sent and all types of shit to let niggas know it wasn't us and this, that, and the other. You know, ain't nobody claiming the shit. That's when, nigga, we in our mother house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And niggas get a call. <phone rings> Who's the call? It's Jimmy. Like, yo, Stretch, man, all I hear is Young Guns is about to start killing everything that's moving. And you know what my brother did? Instead of, you know what I'm saying, the other niggas probably were the cop plead and all that shit. But remember, like I told y'all, niggas don't know no gangster shit about Jimmy. So my brother like, nigga, he ain't trying to back down, even though we in the crib, whatever, whatever. He like, nigga, that shit would have been done already, man. And you know what he says back to my brother? He like, yo, Stretch, I ain't got no problems. I ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But, man, I got money to fight a war. Now, this is towards us. There ain't nothing about no Tupac. He ain't, niggas ain't worrying about no Tupac. This is us. We in the city, nigga. We in the heat. We in the hood. Win or lose, nobody wants no fucking war. War and business doesn't go together. So before it could get to that, a nigga want to see if he can nip it in the bud. And that's when that call was made. So now, when everybody going back and forth and all that shit, and my brother tells Pac, yo, man, nigga said, man, he got money for war, man. It wasn't telling Pac that, yo, Pac, Jimmy said to tell you he got money for war? I don't know what the God heard, but that's what, what the fuck was happening. We the niggas out here in the heat. We the niggas gonna have to, to answer for everything. We the niggas niggas is worrying about. You know what I'm saying? So that's what my brother told Pop, man. And what's crazy about it is, everybody know I've been in California. I'm, I'm living in California. Ain't nothing ever changed our relationship with Pop fam and everybody. Everybody knows this. Niggas see me at Johnny J funeral. Niggas see me in Inglewood. Niggas see me in Sacramento. Niggas see me in the Bay. This nigga yuck mouth crazy, man. I was just in the, the studio and seen the governor come in there and run your ass out of there, man. I seen Be Legit take 12, 5, 4, 16 for a verse. And nigga had 8,500 from you. And the governor came. I don't know what was going on, nigga. And your ass left. You ain't even take your money for that fucking verse. Your ass got ran out the studio. You out here fronting, nigga. Come on, man. Yo, man, listen, I ain't even gonna get into all this back and forth shit. This is the last time I'm gonna fucking clear any of these issues. Niggas wanna see me. Niggas better see my documentary or niggas see me in the street, whatever. Don't ask me nothing about none of this social media shit. All you fuck faces, because y'all niggas is not my fam. Me, my fam, nigga, we all fam to this day, nigga. Shout out Mo Prem. Rest in peace, Big Psych, man. Shout out Manuk, man. You know what I mean? Shout out the whole crew, man. We out here, man. We out here, and y'all niggas ain't breaking that, nigga. Y'all ain't breaking that. Y'all ain't breaking that, nigga. Match. People say because Stretch was such a big dude, you know what I'm saying? They say, why didn't Stretch rush the robbers? You know what I'm saying? Why he tried to take the gun? Cause he was such a big motherfucker and shit like that. Like, and can you also explain? Pac wasn't the only person that got shot that night. Nichols got shot that night as well, but nobody seems to mention that. Like, can you explain? If you was to set up something, why would you set up a robbery to where your, to where one of your close friends get, gets hurt too? Like, who, who who does that? But um, that's another question that people have as well. Y'all got to know, man, in these days, man, right here, Pac and my brother was inseparable. When Pac come to town, it's either him and my brother come to the airport, they get in the MPV, niggas go to the um, hotel, smoke, whatever, whatever. Then them niggas come to the hood, get niggas from the hood, niggas go back to the city to go to the studio, to the club, whatever niggas going to do. You know what I'm saying? It's freestyle. So when he's around, Pac, all right, what we doing? Yo, we going to fucking do a freestyle, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for Ron G. Boom. 
Niggas don't know what they going to do. Everything is freestyle. Pot telling niggas what they got to do. So how are we going to set a nigga up where we don't know what the fuck we doing? He got to tell us what we about to go do. After motherfucking niggas go to Ron G, Pac got to tell niggas, yo, let's go to this other shit, man. Jimmy want me over there to go do a song with his artists and all that. So that's telling you right there, there's only two people that knew Pac was coming to the studio. So where my brother come in at? It's all cut and dry. Where the setup? Where the, there ain't got to be no setup. Because when niggas said to come to the studio, niggas was there when niggas got there. Y'all just worrying about what happened to Pop. Nigga, it happened to us. Once niggas got in the studio, man, niggas see season them. Season them is out the window throwing down motherfucking water balloons on motherfuckers. They see Pac and my brother and I'm like, oh shit, Pac, what up? Nigga, this is all spirit of moment shit. Like, yo, oh shit, God, what up, y'all? Y'all coming up? Niggas like, yeah, we coming up. Niggas is getting to the door. They see homeboy out there with the green fatigue jacket. But that's probably what threw niggas off. Once niggas seen seizing them in the window and all that, and all these Brooklyn niggas, you know what I'm saying? They always got a million niggas with them just like us. They get to the door, they see this nigga with the fatigue jacket automatically that throws niggas off. So now niggas go in, homeboy turn right in on them. They behind them. And once they get in, the other niggas in there. It's a robbery. So where's the setup at? Where my brother got to do with that? Now, niggas is motherfucking, yo, give up your shit, ah, ah, smacking niggas with the gun, all that type of shit. You know what I mean? Who the fuck sets something up and goes through all that? Use your fucking brain, please, man. When a nigga talking about niggas is calling and this, that, and the other. Remember, this is not three, not four. Not, the cell phones and all that shit wasn't around like that. Yeah, the burnouts, the get the hookup shit was the here and there that. But call around, do your homework. Pac barely had a phone. This is real shit. So how the fuck is niggas texting and all that shit, man? Back then, come on, man. We're not even going to entertain this dude too much, man. And if you're entertaining that shit and your motherfucker bought a book or any of that, nigga, you've been bamboozled, man. You've been robbed, man. Ain't no cross in our blood, squad, Pac, our whole affiliation. You know what I'm saying? And then not to mention, how do you, if you was to set somebody up on a robbery, why would you set the robbery up to where you shoot your man in the stomach? People forgetting that, that Nichols got shot in the stomach that night as well. Yeah, man, too much, too much, man. It's a lot of, it's a lot of dumb shit, man, running around. I just got to address them all, man. I'm, I'm tired of it, man. Like, another thing I'm hearing and seeing, niggas talking about, yo, Pac said it himself and all that. Nigga, Pac ain't never, ever said that we set him up. Never, ever said. And the shit that he did say, I'm going to tell y'all why he said it. It ain't had nothing to do with niggas setting nobody up and none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm going to tell y'all what's going on, you know what I mean, in a minute. Then another thing, niggas like, yo, Stretch could have grabbed the gun and all that shit. Listen, listen, listen. A robbery is a robbery. When you getting robbed, niggas like, yo, this is a robbery. Don't turn it into a homicide. A hit is a hit. A hit, niggas, you ain't hearing nothing, man. It's just out and it's lights out. And in that situation, the way they had my brother and them niggas, nigga, if it was a hit, niggas won't be here. Niggas would have died in 94, all of them, if it was a hit. That shit was a robbery that went wrong. The reason why it went wrong, the guard got the twins on them. The guard got the heat on them. And the only reason Pac got the heat is because he always got the heat when he come to New York. It wasn't like he had heat on him because he knew he had beef. Every time nigga Pac came to New York, he was like, yo, let me get a gun while I'm out here. Let me get a gun. Let me get some heat. Then as years progressed, one day he came out. He's like, guess what, y'all? I don't need no gun. And he pulled out a gun. Nigga, that nigga put the gun in his suitcase, put that shit on the plane. I guess they put it under the plane and his ass came over here. He made it. Now he amped. He doing that shit all the time. Now, look, we already know about all the guns because, remember, we damn near living with them. My brother, they living together. All the guns is in Atlanta. So he know about the twins already. He loved the twins. He called them the twins, 240s or whatever. So he come out here, nigga, he got the twins on them. It's a regular day, you know what I'm saying? And remember, man, this is Manhattan. This is Quad Studios, the middle of Manhattan. This is something where niggas never think that anything is going to go down at. And niggas ain't got no beef. Even if the shit with Jack, he said about Jack and the papers, even if he with that, 
nigga ain't thinking about no getting set up or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nigga like, yo, I said something I shouldn't have said and nigga, fuck it though. But I got my heat. And, you know what I'm saying? If niggas catch me, nigga, niggas ain't going to be punking me. That's the way he thought when it comes to that or any of that. Nigga, I got my heat or I got my niggas with me. That's that. But when the stick up shit happened, you know what I'm saying? Only reason why that guns went off is because Pac had the heat and he was like, yo, niggas is like trying to take his bracelet off. And he was like, hold on, I got it, I got it. Pac was trying to act like he was taking the bracelet off. And while he was acting like he was taking the bracelet off, he started, he was really reaching for the heat. They said, homie, whoever homie was, was like, what the fuck you doing? What the fuck you doing? And grabbed his arm and they start tussling. As they tussling, the gun go off. That's how Pac got grazed in his nuts. You know what I'm saying? Now, once the fire go off, everybody starts shooting. You know what I'm saying? And that's how he get shot. Now, look, while they in there, though, you know what I'm saying? While the robbery's going down, remember we said that season them, um, seen them coming in. So now season them going, coming in the elevator to come see Pac, come to the studio, and they get the elevator opens. And when the elevator open, Pac season them, see the shit happen and shit. And them niggas turned on season them and start running towards the elevator to, to grab them niggas off the elevator and stick them too. But the door had already closed. You know what I'm saying? So they went back upstairs or whatever, and that's when they was like, yo, man, parking them downstairs getting robbed, I guess. This is all, this is what my brother told me before anything. This is years ago. I've been new about all this shit. And another thing when it comes to the homeboy that's talking about he robbed niggas up and all that shit. Nigga, Pac didn't get caught for all no jewelry, man. He didn't get caught for all that jewelry this nigga was talking about. He's fucking lying. He must know somebody that was there or something, but that nigga's lying. He ain't catch all that. But right after everything happened, homeboy and them ran out. Pac, my brother, all of them run downstairs. You know, I'm like, they're going to catch him. Because remember, Pac had the two heats on him. And then when they get downstairs, the whole fucking front of the studio, the whole precinct out there. So them niggas hurry up and spin back around because Pac got the other gun on him. And go back upstairs. And nigga, they pass that heat to Big. I was like, yo, Big, go stash that shit. Big is fam, my nigga. And I told y'all already, nigga, Big ain't no... Pac was coming. Niggas ain't know Pac was coming. Niggas gave Big the heat. Niggas stashed the heat. Now all the police is in there. You know the rest of the story and shit. Y'all see Pac coming out, holding his finger out. There's another documentary they see where y'all see Big coming out. The police there, the news reporters, everybody, and y'all see Big come out. He got the hoodie on. Nigga, that's when um, Pac sent my brother and them back to the studio to get the other heat. Big, through all of that, Big goes back, nigga, because I guess he said he stashed it in the piano or whatever in their studio. And shit, Big goes out, come through all the police and that to pass the other heat off. Niggas is, is celebrating. Remember now Pac shot, he's going back and forth to court for the rape case and all that shit. And niggas celebrated because he they dropped the rape case. Whatever they dropped it to was like a charge of somebody tapping a girl on the ass. But since Pac is who he is with all his background, the pamphlet shit and all that, they wanted to be funny and they gave him the max on that. That's how he got that one and a half to something. Before all of this, right? Before he get remanded, or before all of that shit, Pac was getting 15,000 a show, right? He never been across seas, never had to use no passport, never been across seas, right? He's about to go across seas and they're giving him 30 a show. You know what I'm saying? Nigga going on tour. Who you think he bringing on tour with him? He bringing us with him. You know what I'm saying? He's all over us and shit. Like, nigga, y'all better get your passport, get some ID. We ain't got no fucking ID. Y'all niggas better get your passport, man, nigga. So we like, yeah, we gonna get it, we gonna get it. But we ain't had no fucking ID and shit. You know what I mean? We ain't had them six points. Remember, we freshly out of our teens, my nigga. We ain't never use no, never need no ID. Remember back then, nigga, you could hop on the plane with somebody else's ticket. You could drive without a license. You get pulled over, them niggas giving you a no license ticket. And we ain't never had no jobs, none of that. Our jobs was, the first job we had was getting signed with Def Jam. And then, then Tommy Boy, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got no ID. My, we Jamaican. To get the six, you need six points to get ID out here. You know what I'm saying? My mom's is the only one that could do the other shit. She got, we got, she got to take off for work and take us to the DMV and all that. You know what I'm saying? My mom's a Jamaican nigga. She like, on the go here. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga. So, and in between that, 
after this shit happened with Pac, nigga, remember, my brother got a daughter, I got a daughter, nigga still got to pay the bills and that. So in between trying to do that and get ID, time is flying, you know what I'm saying? Pac making jokes about us, man. Like, man, I don't know how the fuck y'all niggas fucking uh, ain't got no ID, man. How the fuck y'all niggas running around ain't got no ID, nigga? Used to be making jokes on us and shit like, yo, I'm going to leave y'all niggas, man, when it's time to go cross seat, when it's time to go on tour. This is, you know, just the fun fun times we have and I'm telling y'all about when he get remanded now he they remand him he's on Rikers Island I know all of y'all love Pac I love him too but remember he's just a man he's just a man nobody's perfect but God men make mistakes too now look he on Rikers Island we run up there to go visit him now the bullshit ID that we got these motherfuckers is fronting on me and my brother they wouldn't let us see him ran us out of there but remember, we all one. We all one fam. So we go back to the hood. Everybody ante up and shit for some weed and to put some money on his books and all that shit. And Nichols and E Money Bags go see him, right? They on the visiting room. Niggas talking everything. Ah, uh, then niggas start talking about the, the shit that happened and shit. And they like, yo, God, remember the part when, yo, you remember when fucking um, the niggas tried to spin on C's and shit, when C's and them came down in the elevator? Nichols is reminding them and Pac like, huh? So what are you saying? Well, Big and them ain't had nothing to do with it? And Nichols and E look at Pac like, huh? What the fuck is you talking about, man? What are you, huh? Pac like, damn, man, I just did an ill interview too. But we ain't niggas like... Just, you know, we ain't niggas going to see the guard. So niggas ain't even get into what the interview was about and all that shit. Now, like I said, Pac it ain't perfect. Nigga might say some shit that he don't want to say and he ain't taking it back. He the type of nigga that's going to try to justify what he said instead of saying I shouldn't have said that. You know what I'm saying? Even the, what he said about Jack, he knew he shouldn't have said that. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you know what I mean? I shouldn't have said it, but fuck it. You know what I mean? And, you know, we with him regardless, whatever. So whatever. Time goes by, finally, the interview that he did comes out, and it's crazy. He's saying everything and all the shit he was saying. Now, I remember, now, I, remember I just told y'all what happened on, on the island and shit, right? So now, he talking about everything. He, nigga, he even said my brother was towering over niggas. He was supposed to grab the gun and all that type of shit. So now, my brother mad. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? This nigga talking about you were supposed to grab the gun and, and this, that, and the other. So now my brother mad. Now he do his interview for the vibe. And he like, yeah, nigga, you damn right I was towering over them motherfuckers. Because that's what Pac said in this shit. He said Pac Stretch was towering over them niggas. You know what I'm saying? He, he should have tried to take the gun and this, that, and the other. Now, anybody knows, man, like I just said, man, come on. That sound crazy. I don't know how y'all feel about that. You know what I mean? But nigga, anybody out here knows, man. Come on, man. You can't fight no bullet. Point blank. A robbery, nigga, if nigga robbing a nigga right, nigga, is just, nigga, it just is what it is, man. My brother mad as hell, shit. If we would have had some ID, nigga, my brother, do you know that whole time, nigga, my brother, we've been back and forth trying to get ID. My brother was trying to get to the fucking jail to curse his ass out. Brother, this is brothers, man. This is brother shit. Ain't no... You know what I mean? Ain't no all this shit y'all niggas thinking about. This is brother shit. You know what I mean? So now my brother do his interview and he like, you damn right I was towering over them niggas. But I ain't towering over no fucking slugs. You know what I'm saying? And nigga, you were out here, whatever, whatever. So now Pac mad that my brother said something back. And then Pac get remanded. We not knowing nothing about, but he mad at Big, he blaming Big on shit and all that. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. He in jail. So, in everybody's eyes, everything is cool. Niggas is not knowing he mad at Big and, and all that shit. So, when y'all hear him say, switch sides, he talking about Big. He talking about, because while he locked up, you know, we still, everything is still going on. You know what I'm saying? We might be with Big, letting Big try, hear some beats. Remember, man, this is all we doing is making music, man. Smoking weed together, selling beats, niggas going to the clubs. That's our whole life, man. That's all you do in your early 20s, man. And that's all niggas was doing. Niggas ain't not knowing that there is another side. You understand? So when he said that shit, that shit fucked us up. Like, what side are you talking about? Like, Big is us. It's is us. 
It's us, man. It's big. It's fucking squad. It's Pac. Nigga, it just held you down all the way to, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm telling y'all that Pac is not perfect, man. He's not perfect. Nigga went never been to Rikers Island. Nigga stressed out. We've been running around each other since we was teenagers, man. We seen Pac drop his first album, his first joints. We with him on his first joint. He with us on we drop our joint. You know what I'm saying? Harless is out. That shit was so crazy, is anticipated. The album and the movie is anticipated to do five million and all that. Pac loved Heartless so much, he tattooed the shit on his arm. You know what I'm saying? But y'all know what happened with the Ice-T thing and Tom Warner dropped all the hardcore acts and then we got caught up in that shit. But we were still popping. You know why? Because, nigga, of our family affiliation. You know what I'm saying? And we producing. We ain't never stopped. Pac motherfucker dropped the second album strictly for my niggas. Who you think is the main producers? Us. We did holler if you hear me. All that, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Started the Thug Life movement, the Thug Life album. He wanted my brother to be part of the Thug Life group. I told y'all that already. You know what I'm saying? This is how close we are, man. This is family. You know what I'm saying? He got my brother and we in Jews. We got the soundtrack to Above the Rim. We did that pain shit. You know what I'm saying? Bullet. About to take us with him on tour nigga all of this why would we let anything happen to him that's hurting us that's hurting us i got one of the queen's generals to tap in this is one of stretch's best friends growing up we got Hom, the ceo of grand imperial entertainment and he gonna tap in and just give his perspective on what's going on also shout out to info minds shout out to the culture Grand Imperial on the check-in. First of all, we're going to go with common sense, man, because we can, we can only go with common sense on this because the people that's involved is not here right now, and we got a fuckboy putting dirt on a, a person that's deceased. I know you want to come up. I know you locked up, and you want to get you something for for you to, to, to get you through, man, but don't use my man for a come up, man. They like brothers, Pac and Stretch. His first album... His first movie, they was together. His first cars he was buying, they was together. They have been together since they was roadies. So just out the blue, he gonna take something from somebody that he don't even really know like that to set his brother up, something that he don't even use or sell. That don't make sense. That's just common sense. So Dex to the child molester that fuck little boys, come up on somebody else. And nah, he ain't really no, no child molester. I don't know if he fuck little boys. He might... Well, he might not, but see how I could tear his character down just by saying that? You tearing my man's character down by calling him a turncoat, and he ain't that. Come with more proof, man. Shout out to Infomines again. Shout out to my man, the culture, Grand Imperial on the check-in. Niggas don't know that, man. He couldn't get in touch with niggas. He called my fan, man, E-Money Bags. He called E-Money Bags. It was like, yo, man, ain't nobody coming to see me, man. Yo, um, come check me, man, if you can come check me, man. Who you think went up there to check him? E went up there to check him. Stretch wanted to go up there so bad to check him and get all over him, but he couldn't. He have no ID, man. Imagine have no ID. Niggas couldn't go check him. E had a license out of the whole crew. E Money Bags had a license out of the driver's license out of the whole crew. He was the only one that could go check him. Him and my man that got hit, Nichols. Them two went to go check him. And they told Pop, they said, yo, Pop, what, what you talking about? You, you think Big got something to do with it? Big, you know Big ain't had nothing to do with that, that shit, man. You know that C's and them came down the elevator. Remember when niggas spent on it and C's? He said, oh, shit, I forgot all about that shit. I said, yeah, man. That's what Nichols said to him. He said, come on, you forgot that? And he was like, yeah. Then he said, oh, man. I already, I already did an ill interview. And e Money Bass said, Dan, you did an interview. He's like, yeah, I did an ill interview already with Vibe. And that's that interview everybody know about. If Pac wasn't our man and he wasn't fucking with Pac, then who you think Pac was living good on the, on the island? He in our city. We could have sent shit all out, all that Pac. But what we did send out Pac was trees. We made sure he was smoking good and living good on the island, man. We had niggas indoors passing them shit. Cause he our fan, he ain't no rapper, he ain't no star, he ain't none of that, man. Whatever we could do for him out here, and, and we could make him comfortable from in there, that's what we did. So, 
ain't no wasn't no beef on this end or with niggas with with stretch and pop. Shook was a good nigga. Came and snatched him and got him out of a situation that he that niggas couldn't get him out of, and niggas did not have the money to get him out. And rap money wasn't like it is today. Niggas wasn't getting mad money. Suge had that bread, was ready to stand up, snatched him, and that was that. And he rolled with what he had to roll to because he's a loyal dude, and he rolled with Suge. He had to do it. And that's that. A lot of people don't know, man. Stretch, they call his people crib, man. They call his mama house, man, about this whole situation. The major players, man. Remember, man, we only like 20, 18, and tw the oldest we is 22, 23, man, with this, man. We don't know what's going on. We, we got beef with major players now. It's real. Niggas done hit our man. Pac ain't a rapper to us. That's our man. And plus they hit our other man. So we like, yo, we all on guard. Like, yo, it's time to get. Let's get these niggas. Let's get at these niggas, man. We had niggas in Brooklyn. We had niggas in Queens ready on call. All you got to do is stress and say, yo, that, go get it. He was smart enough to say, nah, hold up, man. If shit get done crazy, my moms and my sisters is here. I could get up and get out of Dodge, but my family here. We got to make sure fam right first, man. So we said, yo, see how much bread Pac got, man. To at least move your moms for a little bit, man. So we just go ape on everything out here. Call Pac, say, yo, Pac, what you got, son? Cause you were... Pac was tight, like, yo, niggas want money to move, man. Man, niggas just supposed to move, what the fuck? He ain't, he don't know about war, man. You can't just move. You need money for war, man. Who, where you think he got that statement from? He got it from us, man. Because that's what that motherfucker told my man. Yo, I ain't scared. I got money for war. Let everybody know you need money for war. Or you better have your hood. You better have everything in super tack with this kid. Your moms ain't gonna just pick up a move. Man, you ain't nobody moms doing that. You better have somewhere right for it. So when Pac, when he stepped to Pac and Pac said, yo, man, well, shit, man, you know I ain't got no money like that. I got 7,500. Tell them niggas I got 7,500. 7,500? What the fuck? We can't do nothing with that. But tell him, yo, whatever, when he come out, we got him, and we just gonna go from there, but we can't just unleash fucking terror on motherfuckers with 7,500. We can't do that. So when Pac came out, the next day he went to court, they remanded him, he in jail. Then all of a sudden, all this crazy shit is about big, set him up, and my Pac no big ain't set him up. Stretch never got a chance to speak to Pac again. Because when Pac got out, from West Coast snatched him up, sugared him, and then it was from there, history from there. But Pac knew he ain't had no beef with Big, and why was niggas gonna flip on Big? Niggas know Big ain't do nothing. When he came in there, he got popped and everything, man, and the police was all over the place. They, popped, they passed Big that heat. Big a real nigga, man. Big stashed that heat, and then came back and got that shit. When you see Big walking out with that light blue shirt on, he got that heat on him. That's Pac heat he got on him. Walking that shit out in front of the police. That's what your brother do. He take that risk. He ain't gonna let this man get caught with that heat. He walking out with that heat. So man, that's what real friends do, man. Big was a real nigga, man. So niggas be saying Big a turncoat, fuck Big and all that, and fuck stretch. I mean, niggas ain't no turncoats, man. How you gonna flip on a nigga you don't know you supposed to flip on this nigga for what? Yo, Pac, you know what happened with this nigga. Oh, man. But Pac had to ride what he had to ride for because niggas on this side that had the dough that could hold him down wasn't ready to hold him down right. So sure came and held him down. So the story is that, like that. But as my man the Turco and flipping on niggas and all that, nah, man. He ain't that, man. He ain't never that and never gonna be that. All right, we out. Now, Madge, another question that people have is, um, they say because Stretch died on the one-year anniversary of the quad shooting, somehow this makes his murder related to the 94 Tupac shooting. Now, it's some form of payback or retaliation. Now, with the research that I did, I found that there was a former cop named Greg Caden, and he allegedly claimed that some pie rules killed Stretch, and they say it was allegedly Jimmy Henchman and that Jimmy, um, turned on stretch and that was the reason that 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 he was killed now i want to take a moment to say 
I understand that this is a touchy situ- subject. You feel me? I understand that this is a touchy subject. And we do appreciate you coming on the platform, even speaking on it. And um, for me, myself, and for the coach and the InfoMinds team, you know, we want to say rest in peace to Stretch. Randy Walker, we want to say rest in peace to Tupac Shakur. We want to say rest in peace to Afini Shakur. We want to say rest in peace to Big Sight. You know, we want to say rest in peace to all the fallen soldiers. And then there's another cloud of smoke that got blown up y'all asses, man, for money profit that I heard about. Nigga said there was another book out where they saying some blood or whatever gang nigga came, got paid to come to New York from California and kill my brother. Now, listen, man, this is a time after N.W.A. dropped, man. The whole industry got flooded by street niggas, man. Our whole movement, man, Live Squad, Tupac, E-Money Bags, Thug Life, our whole movement, man, these is all street motherfuckers before rappers, man. Our whole shit, y'all already know what it is. This is the beginning of this, man. This is the beginning of what's going on now. The whole industry is full of street niggas, man. And remember, man, Niggas get in, you're trying to save your niggas. All your niggas is from the street. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's from the street. Ain't no square shit. Especially with our movement, man. You know what I'm saying? When Pac take a loss, nigga, we cry with him. When we take a loss, he cry with us. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to all our fallen soldiers. You know what I'm saying? Men too. All of this. We've been taking hits way before y'all even knew about it. Mental, God bless the dead. When y'all hear only fear of death is coming back, reincarnated. That's mental, man. Pop kept that the chorus, man. That's crip all day, my nigga. This is just letting y'all know the type of shit that is going on, man. We losing niggas, man, while we trying to get our shit popping. You know what I'm saying? Same old shit, my nigga. This is the same old shit that we going through all the way to now, man. This is the beginning of that. You know what I'm saying? So when shit didn't work out and, you know, Pac gone, jail, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no backbone of no big um, company behind niggas. Everybody go back to their natural habitat, man, which is the jungle where anything can happen. We lose Raided. Raided got life. You know what I'm saying? Gaddafi go back to Jersey. Same old shit. We lose Gaddafi. Us, we go back to the hood. I lose my brother. Nigga, same old hood shit. Everything that my brother was trying to save niggas from, man, by not selling out and saying, fuck that, nigga. When I go, nigga, all my niggas coming with me. This is why he got killed, my nigga, for being in the hood. At the wrong time in the hood, my nigga. Y'all know how it go. Shit be funky. You know what I'm saying? Shit goes to a... It gets to a point where, man, niggas ain't talking about, man, fuck that. That's a rapper. Stretch, stretch man ain't got nothing to do with that shit. When certain shit happens in the hood, you know what I'm saying? It gets to a point where everything is green light. And, nigga, we in the hood. Niggas had seen my brother at a time where everything was a green light, man. And that's what happened with my brother. I ain't got to get into all that stupid ass shit. What y'all think I'm stupid? Nigga, we out here, nigga. Fuck is y'all talking about? Then, at the same time, let's put that aside. You know what I'm saying? My all everything, all that hood shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, y'all niggas is talking that shit, right? Y'all making Suge look bad. Y'all going to tell me that if somebody paid a nigga to come all the way to New York, right? Look at all these names popped and screamed out. All these million dollar killers, supposed to whatever the fuck is going on. All these names. Y'all think a nigga gonna come all the way? Shug is a nigga. I done heard rumors about it. Some nigga smacked Shug, man. Man, a couple minutes later, him and his wife dead in front of the crib in the car. This is the type of fucking rumors I've heard about Shug. So y'all really gonna tell me? I mean, y'all gonna let this nigga, whoever wrote this book, say, yo, niggas sent a nigga to New York to kill Stretch? What about all these niggas, man, that's running around, nigga, nigga, <laughs> nigga, and just leave these niggas, huh? That's the, that's the credit y'all giving Shug? Man, get the fuck out of here, man. His mother, 
Is y'all know her as Athena Shakur or Miss Athena? I don't know her as that. I know her as Ma. If you my family and you my brother, and I see you how you deal with your mother, you ain't my. I'm gonna do. I'm I'm calling her Ma too, as showing her the same respect I would show my mother. You know what I'm saying? That's Ma to me. Nuke moms. That's Ma. You know what I'm saying? This is family. This is family, my nigga. Even with, do y'all know that? Um, y'all know that. Holla if you hear me, right? We did holla if you hear me, right? Do y'all know that pop lyrics is so powerful that they had a Broadway play? There was a play running around. It was a Broadway play reciting his lyrics, and the name of the play was the song that we produced. Holla if you hear me. And do you know when it premiered in New York? You know who came out here? Ma. You know who was with Ma? We chilling, smoking, and all that? Me and Manuk, man. Do you think I would have been around Ma if there was any cross, man, going on in our game? Are y'all fucking stupid? Big psych, big stretch, Manuk, country, you know what I'm saying? Mo, we are the loyalist niggas, man. You can't break that, man. You can't break that, nigga. We've been running around niggas since DU, man. Niggas is babies together, man. Niggas is brothers, man. Don't do that on, y'all ain't gonna do this on the expense of my brother, man. Hell nah, man. Fam is fam, and fam stay fam to the death, nigga. Death, nigga. Death, nigga. Death, nigga. Death, nigga. Death, nigga. Death, nigga.